Good morning, guys, from your woods. We are in California. We made it safely yesterday, and so we are checking out one of California's beautiful national parks. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of Muir Woods. I'm gonna show you what it has to offer. We're here with a pregnant auntie and grandma and two little kids. So we're gonna give you some tips on how you can do this national park um, easily. And so we parked at the third lot away from the entrance, and as you can see behind me, there is a visitor center there. So we'll check that out to show you what that's like. So come along with us. We're gonna explore Muir Woods today together. I'll take this is the Muir Woods National Monument Golden Gate National Recreation Area map, right? And then there's the Muir Woods and Vicinity Trail map. So you can see what's in the vicinity. Okay, let's go. The entry fee is $15 per adult, but children 15 years of age and under are free. So here at the check-in desk, you can actually get sworn in as a junior ranger. Perfect, thank you. So we are just entering Muir Woods National Park. One thing I will mention that is really important to keep in mind is although this is California, the weather here is very chilly. The tall redwoods are going to block a lot of the sun and so you're gonna have a lot of forest coverage. So you definitely wanna dress in layers, making sure that you pack lots of layers to take off or take on depending on um, what the climate is that particular day. What do you hear right now? Water. So when you enter Muir Woods, you will see that there are three different marked trails or paths that you can take to explore the forest. So decide how much time you have, decide what you're up for that day. There's a half mile loop, a one mile loop, and a one and a half mile loop. So you've got lots of options depending on how much time you have and what you're feeling energy for. And then all the paths here are really great. They are paved with a hard wood. Um, and so it's great for wheelchairs, strollers, or even anybody that may have disability or mobility issues. One other thing to keep in mind is if you're traveling with kids, you can stop at the Guest Information Center and get one of these Junior Ranger activity books. These activity books are really a great way to get kids engaged and participate in exploring the forest. Once you're finished with a Junior Ranger activity book, if you turn it in to guest services, they will give your kid a little badge and swear them in as a National Park Junior Ranger. So Isabel, can you show us here what you have? So I have this Junior Ranger activity book where you get to go around and answer questions and stuff around the National Park. So it says in the front, if you are 11 or older, you have to complete all the pages. If you are 8 to 10, complete any 8 pages, but I think I want to do all of them. Okay. And if you are 4 to 7, complete any 5 pages with a banana slug on them. And then what happens like at the this. end? If you complete those, then you become a... Junior Ranger. A Junior Ranger. So that's what we're working for today. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, those would be a lot of rings to count. Yes. 
One of the things to remember when coming to Muir Woods is that your admission to the park also includes one of the forest rangers giving lots of talks about the variety of things you may see and come across during your time in the park. One of the things I love the most about my time in Muir Woods was how calming and peaceful the environment was. There's just something so spiritual about connecting with nature. I could have sat all day and just listened to the water stream and flow through the babbling brook. So if you continue up the trail a little bit more, you'll get to bridge three. There are lots of different uh, trails and over passes. This one here is Cathedral Grove and you have to enter this area quietly. It is a very peaceful area to uh, take in more of the scenery of the Redwoods. So we're gonna head back here over bridge three and kind of loop back around toward the visitor center. We chose the one mile loop um, just given the nature of the people we're traveling with today, but certainly there are more intense or longer loops. I wouldn't actually say any of these trails are that intense. They're pretty flat, pretty paved, easy to do. You can certainly navigate again with a stroller, a wheelchair, um, anybody who may be in a rollator or a scooter. One other tip I would give is to definitely come during the week if possible. During the week, you can see it's not really crowded. There's definitely gonna be a bigger crowd on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but midweek you'll be able to find parking a lot more easily, as well as be able to enjoy um, the trails without too many people walking alongside you. What's been your favorite part about Muir Woods so far today, this. Mimi? Cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the tip that you're gonna give to the people? Wear gloves. Uh, bring gloves, bring cameras, uh, and enjoy. Beautiful. There you go, and you can see Mimi is a photographer here, so she's got two different cameras that she's working yeah. with today. Yep. Isabel, what's the tip you wanna share with? Bring layers. It's, very, it's colder than you think, so you might wanna bring Lots of layers. Lots of layers. I Good have like tip. Five. Yes, we're each wearing about five or six layers that we can kind of take off and Set. put on as we get hot. Leah's taking off a layer right now. <laughs> Rochelle, you're the local. What would you say in terms of your tips for Muir Woods? I would say go on a weekday if you can because you avoid a lot less traffic and parking is much easier. And I would also say use the bathroom before you go into the park. And take panoramic pictures. Yes. And take panoramic pictures of all the trees Excellent to capture tips. their height. So, Leah, what is the tip you'd like to share? Uh, don't walk on any of the edges. Uh, don't walk on any of the edges of the bridge because you could fall off into the creek or river. So, what and you would don't walk on big logs because you could still fall. So, what you would recommend is and be safe. Okay, and what would you give as a tip to any kids coming to Muir Woods? That was your tip. Again. Um. You would get Muirwood National Monument, no. Monument like, Junior yeah. Ranger Activity Book. Junior Ranger Activity Book. As you can because see, one more page. you can, if you finish all of the activities in the book, 
in the bus, you would get um, a badge. All right. We're in your woods. We're hiking. What do you think so far? I think it's amazing. It's amazing. If you guys get a chance to come to Northern California, you've got to come here to Muir Words and check it out. It's awesome. Definitely. Definitely. So here we are walking back toward the visitor center, finishing up the one mile loop. Did we do a one mile loop? Um, I think we did. Yeah. It was great. And we'll take you inside the visitor oh, center. This. So we can get something. And show you what they have. So Muir Woods. It has been a really great morning here in Muir Woods. The girls and I have really enjoyed. Yes. 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 Enjoyed ourselves with Mimi, Grandma, and Aunt Rochelle. The boys decided to stay home, so they missed out. But it was it's been really fun. We're headed back toward the visitor center right now where we are going to check out what they have and I'll take um, a look around and try to show you guys a little bit more about what they have and what they have for sale. There is also a gift shop and um, a little cafe. I wouldn't call it a restaurant, but a little cafe. So I'll go in there and show you guys that too. So we did pack a backpack. We always try to pack snacks when we are out for little day hikes. And parents, you guys know, you've always got to have snacks on hand when you're with kids. So they do allow you to kind of open your snacks and eat snacks in here, which is nice. So, um, but if you forget to bring anything, you can certainly pick something up in the cafe. One other thing I want to mention about coming to Muir Woods is to plan to arrive early. Parking is definitely an issue and there are only a limited number of parking passes uh, issued per day. So we went ahead online prior to this trip and got our parking pass, printed it out, they said that there's not a lot of cell signal here. I've not found that to be the case. I've gotten text messages and phone calls. So, but keep that in mind, you may not have good cell reception here, in which case you won't have access to your parking permit on your phone. So it might be a good idea to print it out. We did have a printed copy. They scan that when you pull up to the entrance and that allows them to assign you a or not a sign, but a reserved spot for you so that they can ensure that you don't, they don't run out of um, parking spots. This is the entrance to bridge one. I and right across the entrance to bridge one is the cafe and the gift shop. There are two entrances. There's one that is a stared entrance where you have to take steps up. And if you have someone with um, handicap accessible needs, there's a handicap accessible ramp on this side. A little bit of a longer track, but definitely doable right up to the gift shop there. And this is looking back at the entrance. So your gift shop and cafe are right back at the entrance to the woods. This is the handicap accessible ramp that gets up to the gift shop and cafe. There are restrooms here as well as restrooms outside the main entrance. So you do have two different sets of restrooms you can use.
Isabel. Isabel and Leah. Nice to meet you. I am Ranger. That's pretty cool. All my friends. What did you, you think about me once? You thought it was great. You thought it was great. And why? Because it's so beautiful and it's peaceful. And calm. How many activities did you do? Um, I, really I did all of them. I don't know if I did all of them. Or not. Like maybe close. I think I did most. Most of them? Alright, that's cool. Um, can you show me your favorite activity, please? Alright then, so you have to stand up super tall, like a redwood with our shoulders back. And Isabel and Leah raise one hand like this. Mm -hmm. Alright, I repeat after me. I am a junior ranger. I am a junior ranger. I will protect my parts. I will protect my parts. From all the danger. From all the danger. I will not pick any plants. I will not pick any plants. And I will not step on any ants. And I will not step on any ants. My ranger work is never done. My ranger work is never done. Because my ranger life is always fun. Because my ranger life is always fun. And I will always eat my vegetables. And I will always eat my vegetables. All right, friends. Good job. Round of applause. Yay! Please. Good job, Isabel and Leah. Junior Rangers, congratulations, my friends. I got that on video, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how cool. What do you say, girls? You're very welcome. Thank you for coming to the woods. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So just a short ride or even a longer hike from the Muir Woods National Forest, you will find Stinson Beach. It is a private beach protected by the U.S. Park Service. So we decided to just take a short ride down here and check this out. So if you're in the area and you're looking for a great place to picnic, if you want to do a little bit of beachside shopping, it's a very small downtown. There's only a couple restaurants, a public library, a surf shop, and some places to kind of grab some ice cream or desserts. But there's a beautiful park area here, as you can see behind me. Lots of picnic tables, lots of places that you can eat. We packed our own lunch uh, in the cooler and kind of ate snacks and sandwiches on the go. But stick with me here. I'm going to kind of show you what Stinton Beach looks like um, and how this would be a fun place to take your kids if you wanted just to kind of get away, burn off some energy. Um, some people are even out here surfing. So let's go. So you know if the shark's behind you or a dolphin. Exactly. We went to the beach last weekend. We saw dolphins. Because the dolphin's more curved than the shark. I'm going to take a picture and I'll like your hand. Like you all. And look, this is a dolphin. So from the parking lot, you've got restrooms right here in the building to the right just in case anyone needs to have a restroom break. Now there is ramp access, but it is blocked off right here. Not sure why, unless the beach is eroded, but you can't access the ramp from this end. have a ramp that will get you down there to the beach if you have somebody in a wheelchair or if you want to use a stroller. 